Golden Age Technology here on Supreme Master Television. Today we are learning about producing oxyhydrogen or HHO gas at home with our guest Mr. Peter Wood, a green energy enthusiast from Austria. Let's first look at how oxyhydrogen gas can be used in various settings. Let's have a look what we can do with this gas. This flame is very, very hot. Uh, I have here a piece of wood. You can see how quickly it starts to burn. The rest of the flame you can't see, but it really reaches quite far. I have here a uh, a nail and you can see immediately this nail starts glowing immediately the whole nail glows and if I would uh, carry on then it's already melted Uh, for welding copper and uh, copper with, with the fittings and immediately this is flowing we have a piece of glass and this glass immediately starts melting in Peter Wood's next demonstration he shows how oxyhydrogen gas can enhance the performance of a petrol powered internal combustion engine when connected to such an engine, the HHO gas creates additional power. The motor now runs at a higher rate with the addition of the HHO gas. You can hear how the gas increases the acceleration of the engine. An additional benefit of injecting oxyhydrogen gas in an engine is that it improves fuel economy in terms of petrol usage. Mr. Wood now shows us the steps to construct a dry cell electrolyzer. Now I would like to show you how to build such kind of a dry cell. It's really easy uh, for everybody to do. The first thing we would need is uh, such kind of uh, stainless steel plates. We found out that uh, it's better for efficiency if the plates are not too high. So I would rather suggest uh, to make a cell which is probably 30 centimeters uh, large and only 15 centimeters uh, tall. So you need this kind of uh, stainless steel plates and in these plates you can uh, drill a hole on the upper part, right on the top. This is for the gas outlet. Let's say for at 12 volt you need five uh, chambers which makes six plates like this. And two of these plates have a little uh, thing like this for connection to the power connection. Then you need uh, gaskets. Uh, these gaskets I just cut them out of a ordinary foil. This is a foil you can buy in any uh, uh, shop for gardening. Uh, this is foil for ponds and I cut them out of this. And for each chamber you need uh, such kind of a, of a gasket. So you can have then a plate and you put on a gasket. 
Then you have the next plate. And these two together makes one chamber. It is sealed all around and the water or the gas can only come out through this little hole. So you have this uh, 12 times. Then you need a plate. Uh, I made this out of acrylic. It's not the best choice because acrylic is very, uh, it has to be handled very carefully. So you have the acrylic plate which is a little bit bigger in size than uh, the, the steel plates and you put it on and you have your 12 or, or 6 or 7 or, or 20 plates it depends upon the current you want to run through and in the end you have the, the last gasket and then you have your second plate which comes on the top and then you have uh, three droads these are normally uh, one meter size three droads and uh, there is a, a washer and a knot I have a fly knot and you can put push uh, through all this uh, the three roads with the washer from both sides and then this is tied together this is a fitting for a, a hose this is about 10 millimeters inner sides and 13 millimeter outer sides and this is a quarter inch sides uh, three and this I can put in here and from the other side then the, the hose and this is absolutely uh, gas tight hydrogen gas is very very fluid and it can go uh, nearly through everything so it has to be absolutely uh, gas tight and here we can see I have in my, uh, my big uh, sites uh, electrolyzer I have uh, 31 uh, plates this makes uh, 3 units uh, with 10 chambers and they are uh, in parallel and the smaller size uh, dry cell has only 21 plates this makes 20 chambers with 21 plates and only 2 uh, parallel it depends upon the current you want to give through the cell. So we should have at least 2 uh, to 2.4 volt uh, for each chamber we, we would use. And uh, the efficiency in my bigger cell it was about 216 watt and I had 2.7 liters a minute and this is quite a lot. I hope that many people will start to use the gas for welding and also for hopefully for, for the generator that could produce electricity and heat too and then we would have a, a big movement and we could really drop the amount of climate gases because uh, from this gas when it is burned it is very important to say there is no climate gas coming out. It's just water in the end. No uh, CO2, nothing uh, harmful. Our gratitude goes to Peter Wood for his helpful introduction on creating a dry cell electrolyzer and for demonstrating the many uses of HHO gas. Make green and clean energy sources like oxyhydrogen gas quickly become the wave of the future for our planet. Thank you for joining us today on Golden Age Technology. Please stay with us for vegetarianism, the noble way of living, after noteworthy news. May harmony and tranquility prevail over our world.
For more details, please see www.suprememastertv.com.